So today we've been called out to um, heating, central heating fault on an oil boiler. Uh, what's happened is you've got basic S plan and someone's bolted this underfloor heating manifold to it with a two port valve. So whenever the underfloor is calling for heat, the pump in the airing cupboard is always live. So there's a back feed live, which is pumping around against two closed valves. So there's the manifold and we'll just pop up. This is the uh, area where the underfloor is. That's being added on to an existing system. And you can see that's coal in there. And then if we go up to the airing cupboard upstairs. So here's your basic S plan. So you've got your pump there with your two two port actuator valve, one for hot water, one for the heating, central heating on the radiators. And you can see there, both of them are off on the programmer. And if we go to that pump, see it's still alive. So this pump effectively is pumping against two closed valves, which isn't good for the pump and it shouldn't be like that. So it's just been wired incorrectly in the first place. So we're going to put some relays on it and that's going to stop that back feed and solve the problem. So uh, part two of this fault that we had, um, just a recap, what was happening was it was a stray live affecting the other pump upstairs. So when this, the underfloor was on, there was a pump pumping against two closed actuator valves with two ports. So we've wired some two relays in and these are stopping the back feed going to the pump. So you can see now the underfloor heating is on, there's demand, boilers fired. And then if we go upstairs to the airing cupboard, where just to recap, we've got a basic S plan, the pump, two two port actuator valves. That pump is now got no feed to it, so it's actually not pumping against two closed valves. And you can see there's no live to it, no vibrations off the pump. So, job done. Don't forget, give us a call for any faults. Uh, most likely we'll be able to solve them. Bye for now.